Today, I want to conclude our search process with the introduction of Dan Campbell as the new head coach of the Detroit Lions. <laughs> Dan will be the first to tell you that winning is the only mission. But the way in which he plans to go about that is perhaps the most important. His football philosophy, founded on the principles of competition, identity, toughness, and operating with one heartbeat, is something I look forward to seeing come to light in Dan's time as our head coach. We are thrilled to welcome him and his family back to our great football city. But I want to share a few of the specific criteria that we identified and what we were looking for in our next head coach. A leader of men, someone who can command the room and the attention of the entire team. The temperament to handle the grinds of an NFL season. A positive voice for the entire organization and the ability to assemble an excellent staff. Dan checked every box. You know what, we need to get, I need a pet lion that I can just walk up and down the halls with. And they were, that's when they were talking about this. Yeah, I remember. Look at that thing. Listen, I love the history of a club. I love the history of the league. And I think it's important to know where, where everything's come from. It really is. Sheila, I'm not kidding. These facilities are excellent. I mean, okay. but I've been to some of the best and this is, this is top that's, notch. That's great to know. No, relative to what what we want, what we need it for, and how you use it, it's it's. I mean, it's, it's great. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah, this is how I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lee, this is great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. I do. I'm gonna make y'all proud. Yeah, <clears throat> we are. Thank you. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm excited to be here uh, beyond belief. What I'm gonna have to do is make sure that I contain myself. So I'm excited. This is one of those jobs that I identified. Uh, I told my agent, whatever you have to do to get me in front of Sheila and Rod, please do, when this became available. Because I played here, I know the city, uh, I know what it's about, I know the people and it's a special community, it's a special place. Man, it just, it felt right. It felt like the right fit. You know, it's one of those things you hope for the right fit when you go into the interview, and it, 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 I felt like it didn't take long to know this is where I belong. Man, I know this. We turn this thing around, this city is gonna be rocking. And I mean, there, you won't find a better city. I know these fans have been kicked, they've been beaten, they've been bruised, and they've found a way to get up, and it's our job to give them some hope. Here's what I know. Just as an overall philosophy, you're going to say, well, what's this team going to be? What's it not going to be? I know that Detroit's made up of great people. This community is strong. This place has been kicked. It's been battered. It's been bruised. And I can sit up here and give you coach speak all day long. I can give you, uh, you know, hey, we're going to win this many games. I can't, that, uh, none of that matters. And you guys don't want to hear it anyway. You've had enough of that. Shit, so excuse my language. The city's been down and it found a way to get up. All right, it's found a way to overcome adversity. We're gonna kick you in the teeth, and when you punch us back, we're gonna smile at you, and when you knock us down, we're gonna get up. And on the way up, we're gonna bite a kneecap off, and we're gonna stand up, and then it's gonna take two more shots to knock us down. And on the way up, we're gonna take your other kneecap, and we're gonna get up, and then it's gonna take three shots to get us down. And when we do, we're gonna take another hunk out of you. Before, before long, we're the, gonna be the last one standing. All right, that's gonna be the mentality. All right, we're gonna be competitive every game. I can't sit up here and guarantee wins and losses, but I'll guarantee you this, man, these guys are gonna fight and they're gonna scratch and claw and they're gonna be something this city's proud of because they're gonna take on the identity of this city. These guys are gonna learn to play together, play for one another, and those guys are gonna have pride in where they're at, who they play for, how they're gonna play. There's been enough hard times here and you always found a way back up. And this team's gonna freaking do the same thing. And every time we get hit, we're gonna get back up stronger. That's what I do know. And when they come into this city and they, they walk into Ford Field, man, they're not gonna be able to hear. We're gonna play fast, we're gonna play violent, we're gonna attack. You're not gonna know where it's coming from. There's an attitude, there's a, there's a pride. And, and where you live and where you play. And that's what you want. You want opponents to come in and say, this is gonna be tough. I want there to be this this aura, this demeanor about it. I wanna bring something back that means something, man. There's a toughness to it. There's a grit to it. That's what you want, I mean, ultimately. You just want a team that you go out there and you know you're gonna compete. And you're, in it. you're trying to be in every game at the end of the game to give yourself the best chance to have, you know, to have an opportunity to win it. All right, thank you. Thank you guys.